Hi fans of high quality entertainment. It's been a quite a few weeks since I've done a worst album covers video. I've done probably at least five videos. So I might repeat one or two album covers, but most of these I don't believe I've talked about before, including this one. Mother McQueen and the Queens, We Got the Gats. <laughs> and uh, that one woman in the in the center. The expression on her face is, is probably what the music inside is like. Yeah, um, most of these aren't well-known artists, uh, but of course Rod Stewart. I did a recent recent video on my ASMR channel about him. You know, I love his early work the most, but even some of his songs from the 70s and 80s I do like. Just that this album cover is kind of, I guess, tr trying to impersonate the uh, Elvis Presley album cover. And it's kind of cheesy, but it was the 80s. <laughs> Music for washing and ironing. I'm going to go to my local record store and say, excuse me, do you have the album Music for Washing and Iron? Well, speak about music for washing and ironing, there's Hans Edler with Dirty Sally. Pedro Pinho e Alo Pontes. Very nice uniforms, I must say. Ah, uh, tiny moving parts. <laughs> uh, as, as I say, I think in every video, it's like, you know, the band has to approve, usually, the album cover. Yeah, that's the one. Atroph, I believe. Violent by nature. And obviously, you can tell that's going to be a heavy metal album. Yeah, Black Eyed Peas, uh, I saw they have a new album out. Uh, I played about 10 seconds of it on, on Apple Music, then I turned it off. Uh, once again, not the greatest album cover, at least to me. And is Fergie no longer in Black Eyed Peas? She's not on the cover, unless she's on the back of it. Van Morrison. What's it gonna take? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake. Wake. I guess he wants you to wake up. We're all being manipulated and being pulled by strings. Yeah, Fleetwood Mac. Uh, rest in peace, Christine McVie, of course. Uh, it's just, you know, for such a great band, and this is their greatest hits album, and they have, they choose this for the album cover, it's so bland. <laughs> Another heavy metal album cover, Attacker, Battle at Helm's Deep. I might have shown this one before. Doug Kershaw, the great uh, fiddler, violinist, or whatever you want to call it. Instant hero, great talent, but <laughs> not the greatest album cover. Killing Joke. Now, this is a great band. Uh, Lord of Chaos. Just, once again, kind of a 
at least to me, a kind of a cheesy album cover. But certainly not one of the <laughs> worst ones in this video. In fact, this might be the best one. The Spirit of the West. It's hard to read. Master. That must have taken about five minutes to create in Photoshop. Griffin, Protectors of the Lair. Ooh, and you can see the, uh, the monster in the cave. Pretty scary. <laughs> this is scarier though. Catapult, a single collection. It only has one song. Satanic Malfunctions. And I was going to play a little bit of their music. I did a test upload and it got a copyright, so I deleted it. But let's just say that the music sounds just like this album cover. It's death metal, you know, with the guy screaming. And... Arizona Brass. Moderna Tider. I wonder if those are their uh, stage clothes. Baron Cross, BC, Rock for the King. That looks about, what would you say, 1985, 86. Some of the, these album covers, there's a, nothing to say. You just have to, you just have to smile and move on. Like I said, just smile and move on. <laughs> Bill and Dick, where are Bill and Dick these days? The Curry Brothers, Hot Stuff. Chuck and the Woodchucks. You see, and that, that's hard for me to read. I don't know if it is for you. I'm colorblind with red and green. Because he lives. Bob and Vicky Bunnell. Bunnell. The long plain tongue of Dave Etchum. Dog Soldier. This is a vinyl record I had back in the 70s from a cutout bin. The drummer is Keith Hartley. He's a fairly well-known drummer from the 60s and 70s. And this is actually a, a pretty good album. There, there's only the one album by this band. But... And on my latest radio show on my Patreon, I play a track from this. Like I said, it's pretty good. Just I don't care much for the album cover. Dr. John, the great Dr. John, things happen that way. They said it couldn't be done, but they didn't reckon with the mighty accordion band. Kind of flows off the tongue like Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band. And just like Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, there's certain albums on vinyl. When you're listening to the album, you can just stare at the album cover for hours on end. Rabbit, I believe. 
too much rock and roll. Yeah, when you're making a band local, make sure it's readable. <laughs> Forsaken Doll. Now that's a creepy album cover. Tex Williams, Smoke, Smoke, Smoke. And he's even got a tattoo. The Gary Walker Singers Ride in the Glory Train. You think they'd have a train actually in the picture. <laughs> location, location, location. The girls get prettier. Ink Lockley. Especially when you've had a few drinks. Back on the hunt. Now, this one, I, you know, I looked at it again and I thought, that's got to be fake. The Afternoon Tea Bakers, male quartet. <laughs> joy, joy. They're all happy. And so I did some research. Yes, I do research on my channel once, once a, a year or so. And this is the original, the Christian Couriers, male quartet. Love Ship. Metal Duck. Auto Ducko Destructo Monto. <laughs> and I, I think I heard a bit of this, unfortunately. It's like heavy metal. Bad heavy metal. Now this one, uh, it's like a no novel. I won't read all of it, but Ray Shang Kennedy Enterprises presents rock and disco Mr. Bullfrog country style Aang and Cody Cody, eight-year-old singing star featured on Reist Lightning, Dreams of the First Time. And then it just goes on and on and on. He touched her. And there's a picture to prove him. You know, there's free will. Everybody has their own life choices. And so let's move on. I'd be interested to hear 10 seconds of that. Let's move on. Colorful stylings by the Crusaders of Illinois and the Singing Mitchell. Steve McKay, sometimes like this I talk. That's not disturbing. <laughs> uh, Sister King Kong. I think I might have shown this one. I apologize. Ponies. It looks like they're all ready in case there is a flood. And we're almost done.
Very nice hair haircut. One more. Where will I shelter my sheep? The web gospel singers. <laughs> uh, so that's it. Most of these were, you know, like cut out bin type album covers, but uh, they're still fun to look at, at least for me. And I hope some of you out there had a laugh or two. And so please leave a comment below and uh, remember to like the video and share this video with all your family and all of your friends if you have it. Thanks for watching.